Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Lex. And today's video is about to be a vlog. I wanna do more lifestyle content, which means more vlogs. So I'm bringing you guys along with me today because we're about to go shopping. I've been trying to go to the mall for the longest and it seems like something always happens. I wanna to go to Green Hills and Opry Mills, but I'm gonna to go to Opry Mills first. Aritzia opened up in uh, Green Hills. I knew it was gonna happen right after we got a Zara. I was like, Aritzia's coming. So I wanna check out Aritzia to see what all the hype is about. Gigi, chill, girl. Gigi, go back to sleep. Don't, she always wanna rub up against the tripod. But um, I know I wanna go to Opry Mills because I wanna check out the coach outlet and a couple other outlets because I want to you know price and look around for some card uh, holders and some wallets but then I also have an H&M gift card and Green Hills does not have an H&M if Green Hills had an H&M it would be the perfect mall for me so I kind of have to go to Opry Mills to go to H&M so I'm gonna head there first because I want to find some more sweats and the last time I was there I was only in there for like 15 minutes because they were closing early due to the snow I believe coming in um, but the men's section has some really nice sweats that I feel like are gonna be super long and they were cheaper than the women's sweats. GG, what? Just spoiled, just so spoiled, girl. You know that? So yeah, like I was saying, we're about to head to the mall. I'm gonna go to Opry Mills first. I just wanted to record an intro um, and then finish getting ready. I'm honestly ready. I'm just about to wear this Kim's set because I'm not sure if the dress rooms are gonna be open or not, but I wanted to ha uh, put on something that was easy to take on and off just in case. I honestly need to go to Sephora too because I ran out of some items. I don't know if I wanna do that. I don't know if I wanna make today a Sephora day too. I want to buy the mini and the butter, Fenty's uh, body butter. It smells so good. I think I'm a layer two perfumes. Both perfumes are layerable too. I think a lot of perfume companies are making their perfumes to be layerable, probably because we'll buy more. But honestly, I think a lot of us like layering them anyways. I'm gonna put on Ellis Brooklyn Myth and then layer on um, Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. I smelled these two together at Sephora, like one after the other, and I instantly knew they would be perfect layered on top of each other. So I had to get both. I love the way the uh, Juliet Has a Gun sprays. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all also wanna stop by uh, Coach to see if they have the Kissing CC Bangle in gold i got a silver one and a rose gold one for christmas and i freaking love them i've been wearing the silver one a lot i haven't worn the rose gold one yet but i know in the springtime i probably got a lot of wear out of this one i really want to wear this bubble coat but i feel like in the mall it's gonna be a tad bit too warm to have this on I wanted to wear a hoodie, a little lightweight hoodie. The one that I got from Body by Body by Raven Tracy, her little hoodie. I wanted to wear that. Cause when I wear stuff like, when I wear too many layers while I'm out shopping, I end up sweating. So all right, I am ready to go. Purse, I don't even have on gold hardware, but I do not feel like changing purses. I need my Marc Jacobs purse to be here and I feel like it would be the perfect shopping bag. But all right. Okay, y'all, we made it to the mall and I'm parked so close. I'm so happy. I love finding time to go to the mall during the week because it's so empty compared to the weekend. I cannot stand packed malls. Like packed malls turn me into a different person. Like I'm stepping on the back of people's feet. I'm telling people to move. <laughs> like I, I don't like seeing myself in packed malls versus empty malls. I am just, I'm, I am an angel, you know? The sun is beaming on me right now, so I'm burning up. Let me turn this heat down, because that's not helping. I think I'm gonna leave my camera, unfortunately, in the car, because 
my purse isn't big enough. I don't even think I thought about that. This is why I need the Marc Jacobs tote bag right now because I need to have an everyday bag where I can put like a water bottle, in, a water, a water bottle in it, or my camera. You know, bigger items. And I feel like the mini purses can only do so much. But I think I'm gonna leave my puffer in here too because. Um, I don't have too many layers on and then end up getting warm and then having to carry it and I'm parked so close like so stinking close H&M is like right there that I feel like I won't be cold. I tried to sit you on the dashboard first but the sun is so bright. Y'all before I pulled off from the house um, FedEx had pulled up and I was like is that my purse? Is that my purse? Let the window down. Is that my purse? It wasn't. All right let's go. This is how close we are. Like, super stinking close. I think that entrance though is closed. So, gotta go through the actual entrance, which shouldn't be bad at all though. I'm in H&M already. And they have these cute little drawer sets that I've seen online. But I swear online, they look way longer on the model. The top and bottom are only 17. 99. Red and purple. This purple looks long. Why does these look so short? And this color is 28. This one. Chanel is having a nice sale on Coke. So many options. Thank you, because I needed one. This is so cute. are the men's sweats and they're $17.99 the matching sweater I thought the dress room was open it's closed so I'm just laying everything out right here to see I think it's honestly one like this. Is this 60% off this price? Yes, so these are gonna be around 31. Oh, okay. that's, wow, okay. And there's these ones as well. These ones have like the little cards here, the ID slot, I and the actually like this one. Mm -hmm. this, this is thicker. Yes. I want something flat like this. I like that one too. I think it's just a little cute. Oh, it has like the key. Yeah, I like that. These ones come with the key thing as well, I believe. Yes. So it brings it flat like oh, a little bit. Okay. But 
I like this, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. The little class, the security. I think it's just, I think it's just a little pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I'm done. I'm at the mall. All right, y'all, I am out the mall. That was honestly super quick and easy. I just went to H&M. I stopped by Forever 21. There was, it was empty. Like, I have a little bit of a gift card left over from Forever 21. I'm just trying to find like a hoodie, something like simple, something super simple and basic that I know I can get my wear out of more than like once. Um, but like, it looked like they was rearranging. I don't know, Forever 21 looking a little empty in Opera Mills. I don't know what the teeny boppers gonna do because that's the spot. And then I just walked over to Coach because it's not that far from H&M and got me a wallet. I picked me up a wallet. I was looking at this one option and then the lady came over. I think I called out that and she showed me another one. It's, it's similar to the one that I'm using right now that I got on sale from Walmart for like $3. And when she showed it to me, I was like immediately like, this is the one I want. It's flat, it's dainty, it's super cute. I think I actually want to get a keychain. These are un unnecessary accessories that you start to add on, like when you see them right in front of you. It's just all sparkly and stuff. But yeah, it's so stinking cute and I really need one because I don't have um, a wallet in here. And when I wear my uh, Brandon Blackwood bags, I don't put a wallet in those either because they're too small for the wallet that I have. And the wallet I have is actually pretty tiny, but look, bags is getting smaller and smaller these days. So it is what it is. We gotta adjust. So I'll share that when I get back to the house because I don't think I'm going to go to Green Hills today because it's rush hour. And I'm not trying to give myself a headache with cutting through all this rush hour traffic to get to Green Hills. No. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I want to show y'all what I picked up on the mall real quick. I only got two things from H&M. They was having a nice little sale on a bunch of like puffer coats, vests. Uh, their outerwear pieces a lot of outerwear pieces were on sale they, and they were all priced pretty well I think around the $20 mark I think the most expensive outerwear piece I seen was like $40 so I picked up that black vest puffer vest that I tried on there tried on in there and then I also picked up a pair of sweats and they didn't have any like in between sizes they only had like smalls mediums and then extra extra larges and I feel like I need an extra large I feel like a large would be too tight and it won't give me like the baggy look that I'm going for now I'll layer tights or leggings underneath uh sweats because sometimes sweats still aren't enough like if it's like super cold cold so I'm about to try these on real quick so yeah I don't know what I was thinking y'all let me back this camera up um these are I'm gonna have to go return these like I don't know why I just assume like you know what's crazy that they're not big in like the leg area can y'all see like you see how they're not like crazy big in the leg area like that's how much space I have but this be the issue when you're like in between sizes oh my gosh they're so big in this area but like they fit in the leg area and the second piece I picked up was that puffer vest it's so cute. It has a tire on the waist. That's the reason why I went with this one over the other ones that I first saw when I walked in. Because I love a good cinched waist. Ooh, girl. I got this in a size medium. These are definitely supposed to fit oversized. This is so cute. They had so many. This is so cute. And this one was just $22 and some change. It's been so perfect to wear like today. And then last, I picked up a wallet from Coach. I believe all the wallets were like 60% off. It says you saved $64.80. I'm gonna say it was 60% off. So the wallet I got was just $47.20, tax and all. Here's what it looks like. So stinking cute. Gold hardware. And what I liked about this one over the other one is that it has the uh clasp right here to secure the cards the other one i believe had like a clear face right here for i'm guessing your id and i don't really need that it has a zipper which i absolutely need for like if i want to uh store like a couple coins in here or cash it has a pocket in the back like a little slit and then you can also open it up right here where it has like the spot if i wanted to just show someone my id real quick i could do that but i probably won't do that because it seems like 
I would be stretching it and I don't want to do that. This is small enough to go into all of like my mini bags too. So the other ones were priced a little bit lower. I believe they were like $30 for a quick size reference. If I wanted to just like slide the wallet in right here in that pocket in the front, it would fit. Like, I love that. Here's a little Walmart wallet I was talking about. You see how it's honestly like the same style. Like this has a zipper on the back, but I realized I never used this zipper. I think I still put coins in this part. Yeah, coins are still in the part that's right here. But you can see the style of wallet is very similar. This one is just too big for even a small purse like this. Like you see how it's honestly almost the same size of it. So yeah. So thank you to y'all that uh, recommended Coach Wallet. I feel like this one is gonna do me well. Okay, hey y'all, it is the next day. I have just been organizing and doing some decluttering all morning. Um, I'm gonna put some stuff on Poshmark. I'm trying to organize this bookshelf behind me. It really wasn't organized. Um, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how I wanna organize it because I don't want all the purses to be at the top anymore. I have a couple Brendan Blackwood boxes. The lettering is a little different. I thought I was gonna put both of them flat I was going to lay them both horizontal, but the um, lettering on the boxes are different. I'm going to be ordering another Q soon, so I'm going to put the Q box over there on that side. But I like the way it looks empty up there, which means the purses are going to have to move down. So I'm decluttering my purses too, the ones that I don't wear. I'm going to put on Poshmark. And I got these little acrylic stands from uh, Amazon. Since the height is pretty tall on these bookshelves, I can, you know, utilize some more of it. So I like the way that looks. And then also I needed to move my actual winter shoes, fall shoes in because all my strappy sandals were still out and I wasn't getting nowhere out of them. And y'all, I have a slew of like shoe boxes in the top of my closet and I assumed all of these were like empty. So I was like, oh yeah, put the strappy shoes back into the boxes. No. All of these are shoes that I forgot about. These are shoes that I just haven't worn yet. Like I blame my grandma for some of this because she was just like, we have to go shopping. Drag me and my sister out one day. But yeah, like these are like strappy, cute little kitten heels that I honestly forgot all about. Yeah. So now I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna store all these shoes at because all those boxes are filled. So yeah, I might have some shoes up on Poshmark too. I don't know because I have big feet. I wear a size 11 and y'all know how hard it is if you have big feet to find shoes in your size. And I feel like all the shoes um, are like classic shoes that I would need. It's just they're taking up so much space right now. But I know for sure I'm putting uh, this suit set, a couple suit sets that I've gotten. No, Gigi. No, I'm not talking to you right now. Anywho, Gigi is such a drama queen. I wonder who she gets that from because, but like I was saying, I'm going to put a couple of uh, thrifted suit sets that I've worn once and I want to hold on to them, but I feel like I'm not going to wear them anytime soon again. This one right here is so freaking beautiful. I legit remember thrifting this. Absolutely love. I think this was like in a Zara inspired thrift haul. So stinking cute. And then here is the second one. It's in this beautiful chocolate brown. Once again, I remember this one. Can you put something on Poshmark and like take it down like in like a week or so? Because I would do that. So yeah, I'm about to take pictures of those suit sets. Figure out what pieces I am going to uh, put on Poshmark as far as like shoes and accessories. Um, then I have to try them on and take pictures in too, which means... That means I'm going to have to try my best not to be styling in my head because then I'm going to want to keep them. So, yeah. Okay, hear me out. I know what I just said. But look how cute it is with the blazer tucked in. I would have to adjust the button because it's a lot of fabric. But like, I don't know. I just feel like this is such a nice thrifted suit set. I don't know. Should I put this on Poshmark or keep? Because I actually think I want to keep this one. Because this is just so stinking cute. Like, I like the way it looks like a jumpsuit. See, here I go styling it. So cute, though. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm still going to take pictures of it. But this is why it has stayed in my wardrobe. Because I think it's just so nice. 
and I think it'll age well in my wardrobe with my style. Y'all, it's legit seven o'clock. I was about to go cook dinner real quick, debating on if I wanna make a rice dish or a pasta dish, but I heard a knock on the door and it was FedEx at seven o'clock. Like y'all sent out a text message at 7 a.m. and I wanna get the delivery to 7 p.m. All right. I'm not even gonna complain because it honestly came days early, like days early. This is the Marc Jacobs Toast. Let's do a quick unboxing. I feel like the, it's not like an actual box. It's more so, more so let's get our first impression. Let's see, this is why I'm not allowed to have scissors because I'm gonna do everything backwards being left-handed. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to open the box like somehow this way because I see where it says like far fetch at the top can y'all see that who has time yeah on the inside it just says far fetch nothing exciting okay, let's open her up oh she's so pretty Oh, this is a nice size. This is a perfect everyday size for someone who doesn't want like a mini, mini purse. Of course, Farfetch, I knew it. Farfetch telling me it's here. I know, I signed for it. It has a zipper closure, so it's not just open. I don't think I noticed that in any of the videos I've seen. Here's the strap. All right, here's what it looks like with the crossbody strap. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love. And this is a sturdy tote. They not lying when they say it holds, it's gonna hold its structure. Like, it is sturdy. I can't wait to wear it. I can't wait to pack this baby up. I'm probably gonna do a what's in my purse, what's in my bag for this. Because this is the perfect size to have like all my purse essentials. Sayonara for the mini bags. Okay, y'all, so I decided on a rice dish. Can you tell by the ingredients what we are about to make? I am about to veganize the salmon rice TikTok bowl, which is basically just sushi deconstructed. So I have my chickpea rice right here. Instead of salmon, I'm gonna use tofu. I pressed out the tofu with some green onions in there, and then I have some teriyaki sauce on there, and then also some tamari sauce. I went ahead and whipped up some uh, spicy mayo. Well, I kind of made like a yum yum sauce, which I believe has um, ketchup in it. I don't have sriracha, so I just used some Louisiana hot sauce, vegan mayo, and then some ketchup. Got the seaweed, and then I'm gonna cut up some cucumber to add to it because I feel like it'll just add to the dish. So yeah, let's go ahead and throw this in the air fryer and we can construct the bowl. y'all so here is the finished product it looks so good i didn't even want to break it down like how she did i think in the original video because i love the way it looks like this added some green onion and toasted sesame seeds on top and that tofu is so good oh my gosh air frying the tofu 
game changer. Okay, y'all, I feel like I have to try it on camera. All right, let's see. It's sushi. It tastes like sushi. Oh my God, I need to make this because I haven't had sushi in so long. So good. It's not real sushi, I'm sorry, Gigi. It's just tough food. Yeah, no, that's delicious, okay. All right, y'all, so that's it for this video. I'm about to go ahead and start on some editing. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Maybe I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even.